the key to knee replacement recovery made simple. During the course of her career, a physical therapist inadvertently stumbled on an interesting finding. She could predict patients' recovery rate and range of motion per day when they diligently followed a system that she taught them. Nothing in her training or professional instruction prepared her for this revelation. Up to that point in her career, and even today, conventional wisdom remains. Patients are different and progress at different rates based on their motivation, follow-through, and perhaps background. Despite everyone being given the same or similar protocols, the rates of recovery were, and still, are highly variable. What she had discovered was the synergistic effect of combining several well-established principles into a comprehensive system that yielded steady, consistent results. She named that system, No Days to Waste, because minutes, hours, days, and weeks wasted on knee replacement recovery is life wasted. This video is part one in a series introducing core principles that will skyrocket your confidence and effectiveness. The first core principle is power leverage. Power leverage is using some force besides the power of the surgical leg alone to assist in bending the knee. This is important because swelling tends to restrict that bend. The bending action, while difficult, is essential to drive fluid out of the knee and into the surrounding tissues. A good source of leverage is invaluable because it acts like a pump to remove fluid and fast track your knee flexion. There are many types of traditional leverage. You'll find out what the best leverage tool is in part three of this series. For now, let's concentrate on understanding the concept of three-level stretching so you will know exactly how to control that leverage. A level one stretch is a low intensity stretch. A level two stretch is a moderate intensity stretch. A level three stretch is a high intensity stretch. Sounds easy enough, but let's look at the details of each level. A level one stretch is a relatively easy motion that will only maintain your present range. Generally, you are able to do other activities as well, like talk on the phone, watch TV, or read the newspaper. Progress with range of motion will be minimal or non-existent if the intensity remains at this level. There is high potential to form adhesions when patients do not push onward. At level two, there will be some discomfort and feeling of pulling in your knee. Patients in this mode are focused and do not want to chit chat or do anything else while so engaged. The stretching does not seem easy, but will loosen up over time. At level three, you are at the end range of comfort and safety, but will make excellent progress at this level. Discomfort should never be over five out of 10. Your goal for each session should be to gradually get to level three. Being too aggressive in this level may cause a stretching injury and or a stabbing, sharp, painful sensation that causes automatic recoil from the stretch. Commonly, patients fear applying force to a post-surgical knee because they have no idea how to approach a level three stretch to get the benefit without the danger. This is why only certain types of leverage are recommended and why the additional principle of feedback is so important as a complementary strategy. The feedback principle will eliminate the danger in using a level three stretch while allowing you to take full advantage of all the benefits in complete safety and confidence. See you in the next video where you will learn all about feedback.